What's up creator, Josh here, and I'm gonna show you how to maximize your earnings as a worker in Sogni Studio. And I'm just gonna tell you right off the bat the three things that you need to do. Number one, make sure that your Mac OS and Sogni Studio are up to date. Number two, make sure that any power saving modes or energy saving modes on your device are turned off because we want it to continue generating even when we're not using our computer. We don't want it to go to sleep and shut down or rest or, you know, you get the idea. And then number three, we need to make sure we have as many models downloaded as possible so that whenever somebody wants to generate an image using a given model, we are one of the workers that can support it. So if that's everything you needed to know, then great, you're good to go. Otherwise, follow me and let's take a closer look. Before we jump into what we need to do within Sogni, let's first double check two things. One, we need to make sure that we're using Sogni Studio Pro, which you can download from the website. This is the only version of Sogni that allows you to enter worker mode and earn. And let's also open up our system settings and make sure macOS is up to date. And under general, I can see that I'm on macOS Sequoia 15.1.1. Really, as long as I'm on at least Sequoia, which is macOS 15, then I should be good. But just always making sure it's up to date is just a good idea anyway. While we're here, let's go to our energy settings. And the first setting is prevent automatic sleeping when the display is off. Let's make sure that this is toggled on. Put hard disks to sleep when possible. Let's make sure that's off. And wake for network access doesn't really matter because we don't want it to go to sleep anyway. Now let's close our system settings. In Sogni Studio, we're on version 3.2.2, which as of the time of recording is the most up-to-date version. Look at that, we already knocked out two of the three ways to maximize our earnings. Now let's go to the last one. What we're gonna do is go up to SuperNet and we're gonna go to enter worker mode and earn, which switches us to this much smaller interface because we don't need a big interface for this. And I'm gonna open up the advanced tab. You can see I have a little notification to download the 28 control net models. Let's go ahead and get that started because if anybody's using control net, I want to be one of the workers that is supporting it. So I'm gonna start downloading it. It's 18.5 gigabytes. Once I start downloading, we have a downloads menu button that opens up right here. And you can see that it's starting to populate with all the control net models. So it'll automatically continue until all of those models are downloaded. Let's close that and open our model explorer. So I did a fresh install of Sogni and I moved all of my models so that Sogni can't find them. So according to it, I only have this one model installed, which is Sogni Artist. If we go to view all models and we click the hard disk button, you can see that this is the only one that I have. But that's only because I'm tricky and it's on an external drive. So let's go back to all. And then again, we just want to support as many models as we have space for. Now I just bought an external SSD that's a one terabyte drive. You can get them for about $100 right now, but even a 500 gigabyte one can get you pretty far to get almost all of the models downloaded. Let's go to Sogni XL and I would start downloading at the very least this first model because that's the one that people are going to want to use. However, make sure that any models you're downloading are ones that your system can actually support. So I'm running this on a Mac Studio with the M2 Ultra chip. So I can definitely run any of these models, but if you had an older device, maybe an M1 MacBook Pro or something like that, you might wanna get one of these more lightweight models. Going back to view all models. Now, if you are somewhat limited on space, let's say maybe you only have like 100 gigabytes that you want to put towards this, I would at the very least try and get the top most common ones that are on each page. So maybe like the top nine for Sogni XL, then I would scroll down and go down to standard, at the very least get the top models for standard, these ones, and then continue going on down till we get to SDXL Turbo and Lightning. So these, these ones are actually more lightweight, so you could get more of them if you wanted to. And then lastly, we have our LCM models. So cover these ones. Now these models that I just kind of recommended, these, these nine that you see under each of the tabs, aren't necessarily the best ones under each of these categories. They're just in alphabetical order. So if there's a model that you like, I would definitely recommend covering that one. And if you're gonna be doing on-device processing, then you're already gonna have these models downloaded on your device. And then the other thing is if we go here to control net, again, we just wanna make sure that we're supporting the control net models. So as many as these as you can. Now let me show you how to change where they're going to be downloaded to. Let's close our model explorer and click Sogni, go to settings and storage locations. Right now you notice that it's grayed out. It's not going to let me change anything and that's because it's currently downloading a model. So I'm going to go up to my downloads and I'm going to actually just cancel Sogni XL because I don't I already have it on my external drive. Let's go ahead and change this to custom and I'm going to open up Lexar. Let's say that this is a fresh solid state drive that I'm going to be using just for this. So I would select that and then you can determine whether or not you want to move all of your models to the new location or you can just select it. In this case, I'm going to hit cancel because I don't want it to do anything right now, but then we'd be good to go. So then I can close out my settings and I'm all set right now. It says that I'm standing by. So I'm just waiting for jobs. If I click it again, I'm disconnected and then click it to connect. That's all there is to it. Super easy. Again, the three main things that you need to do, make sure that your Mac and your Sogni Studio are up to date. Number two, make sure that you have any power saving modes turned off. And number three, download as many models as you can. And again, you don't need to store your models on your device itself. You can store them on an external SSD to save your space. So go get all that set up and then I'll see you on the leaderboard.